This week on Catalyst, surveillance cameras were introduced to fight crime, but could they now be used to stop terrorism? Hello, I'm Karina Kelly. Without a doubt, the threat of terrorism has changed our lives. But could technology bring back some of the peace of mind we once had? Mareka Steffens turns the spotlight on surveillance systems. There's chaos in the city of London. The initial reaction, of course, is, is horror, shock. It's just unbelievable. The bus exploded. It's just unbelievable. So many people shot. A series of explosions have... Dead bodies lay by the side of the tracks. System. Just hours after the London bombings, video surveillance footage allowed British authorities to identify the bomb suspects. Now in Australia, the call has been made to ramp up our CCTV surveillance, to shield ourselves from would-be terrorists. Look at all the things that I've taken out of the few days I've had in London, none's been more powerful uh, than the... Uh huge value of surveillance cameras. But can video surveillance really prevent a terrorist attack? Right now, you're already being watched. Surveillance cameras are everywhere. From the minute you enter Sydney's train system, over 6,000 cameras capture your every move. Here in the CBD, public spaces are monitored by another 48 cameras, just like this one. Even local shops, businesses and your workplace probably have their own surveillance systems. The number of surveillance systems in Australia generally is exponentially rising, particularly in the wake of September 11th. But just because more and more cameras are watching us 24-7, doesn't mean they're protecting us 24-7. We're now approaching the uh, Rail Corp, Marika. This is the security hub of Sydney's rail system, where operators continuously monitor those 6,000 cameras. They have what we call pan tilt zoom cameras, uh, where they can zoom in. Despite this profusion of cameras, spotting an incident still depends wholly on human operators, leaving room for human error. You can only concentrate for so long, and indeed one study suggested that an operator could only concentrate for really five minutes um, before their attention started to wander. Criminologist Dean Wilson warns we shouldn't overestimate the power of this technology. Because cameras by themselves just collect footage. They don't do anything. So we can't expect that they're going to by themselves prevent any sort of terrorist attack. To do that, you need a system that can spot a terrorist before they act. A system that can think for itself. In the security frenzy following 9-11, one of the first intelligent video surveillance systems was installed on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Systems such as these are designed to replace some of the monitoring done by human operators. The cameras are the, eye, the eyes of the system. Our system provides the brain and that brain can actually analyse what's happening on the camera and therefore provide you with some preventative information. Rustam Kanga designs intelligent surveillance systems that can detect suspicious behaviour, like a bag left unattended in a foyer. If the bag is still there at the end of 30 seconds, the system will pick it up and tell the operator. The system can then jump to the moment the bag was left, revealing who did it. But what if a terrorist doesn't leave a bomb? What if, like in London, they are the bomb. Can cameras detect that behaviour? Any type of suspicious behaviour, if we can understand and identify the behaviour that is suspicious, then the systems can be programmed to detect those behaviours. 
Software is already in development to identify suicidal behaviour in train subways. People who commit suicide normally tend to not just go to the platform and jump off. They tend to loiter around in one place before they develop the courage to go and jump off. Each of these technologies on their own have already proven to be very useful tools on their own. Uh, over time, I think uh, as they come together, they'll become even more useful. But if we choose to accept a world of constant video surveillance, let's do so with our eyes open.